Hello friends, what's up? Gabby here and it is the start of a new vlog. So basically this video is going to be a pack with me slash get ready with me for my trip internationally, which is super exciting. I don't think I've talked about it in a while on my channel just because we started planning it in like January. Um, and I think we finalized a lot of stuff in like March or so, but basically if you're new here Oh, if you're new here, then hey, what's up? Hello. My name is Gabby. I'm a New York City based life and style blogger um, But I also post vlogs to YouTube and just other like random sit-down videos um, But yeah, so I'm traveling to Lisbon, Portugal, Madrid, Spain and Barcelona, Spain and I'm so freaking excited It is my first trip abroad like out of the u.s like i've never been to mexico never been to canada never been yeah no i've been in the atlantic ocean and the pacific ocean and that's pretty much as close as i've gotten to being out of the u.s um <laughs> hmm which is still technically U.S. water, so not even really. But I have so much to do before then. Luckily, I don't have work or class for the next two days, so I figured that I would vlog since I'll probably be out and about in the city and just doing random things. Um, so it's Monday, actually, June 17th, and I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I haven't had coffee, and I think I'm gonna treat myself and go and get some from a local coffee shop that I like. Um, it's not raining right now, so I think I also might go copy my pass port as well since i don't have a copy machine but um yeah we'll we'll see what we get up to today but i definitely am gonna go get coffee and while i'm out i might as well copy my passport because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and i got my hair done yesterday it looks very voluminous and shiny and healthy it needed to be cleaned very badly um and there's just something about having someone else wash your hair for you you know um but yeah so tomorrow i know i'm gonna get my nails done my eyebrows done they don't look that bad right now but i'm gonna get my eyebrows done and yeah i'm gonna be packing mostly tomorrow i'm still waiting on a couple of things to come in the mail like my packing cubes which ironically is one of the last packages that's coming in so i'll be getting that but yeah, today should be just a fun day of cleaning my room because I have like random crap everywhere, which is just like super annoying. So I'm gonna clean up, take the trash out, um, just start writing my to-do list so that I make sure I do everything and just like chill out for the day. So should be a fun vlog. I hope that you enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, let's get the vlog started. So basically, I laid out all of my stuff by outfit, um, and as you can see, I kind of have like a color scheme going. So it's like Barcelona is the darker colors, Madrid has more earthy tones, and then Lisbon has more of the blues and light airy colors. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I'm bringing and basically what I do usually is pick out all of my outfits and then just toss all the clothes just haphazardly in my suitcase. I just toss all of this in there without like rolling or folding or anything and if it all fits then I'm good because it gets condensed when I use packing cubes and other stuff. Um, you saw I went to CVS so I'll show you what I got from there. Okay so went to CVS, picked up some stuff. I find that CVS has like a pretty good travel section. Just saying, the only thing is that they have ridiculously long receipts, which you can get if you just get the digital copy, but I wasn't advanced today. Um, so the first thing I got was a thing of Tylenol, just because I feel like it's good to travel with. Got two packs of the Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. I usually use like a liquid makeup remover, but I think for traveling for like 10 days, like this is just gonna be fine. Um, doo -doo -doo. I got some Tums that are flavored uh, like smoothies. Focusing. Yeah, there it goes. Um, yeah, I mean, Traveling and eating authentic food is also risky, so you gotta have your tums. Um, I got some Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion, which is pretty good. Um, I got some Dove Nourishing Body Wash. 
I have the like um, cucumber flavor or scent, not flavor, scent uh, um, that I use normally, but I just got like a travel size version. I got some of the Sun Bum sunscreen and I have like a bigger thing of sunscreen but I figured that I would just have that on the go. I got another toothbrush because you can honestly never have too many. I got some Colgate Optic White in the travel size. Um, for obvious reasons. Uh, I realized I don't have any luggage tag so I got a two pack. I think I'm going to use this one because I'm a basic person and I really like that print and I think it'll go with my suitcase pretty well. I'll give the other one to someone else. Um, I got a mini secret deodorant. I'll probably bring my big deodorant too but I like to put this in my travel book bag or like in my uh, crossbody just if it's hot like it's gonna be freaking hot in madrid it's gonna be like 90 degrees and like you want to stay fresh you know what i mean um and then i also got a pack of these two lint rollers i'm wearing a little bit of black and one of my dresses really catches lint really easily so i'm gonna bring one of these mini ones with me and then the last few things I got, I got more of my foundation that I use all the time. It is my Fit Me foundation. I'm the shade 355 usually, but I've been combining two shades because I haven't been able to find my shade. Um, and then on days I don't really want to wear a full face of foundation, I'm going to try this Revlon Candid... Um, Wow, beauty guru. Um, this Revlon uh, Candid Concealer. Um, I just got it in the shade Deep. But yeah, that's what I got from CVS. So I also got some stuff in from Amazon. Um, the first thing that I got is a new SD card. I got a 128 gig big old bad boy um because i'm gonna be taking so many pictures and i feel like i need to just be prepared and then i should go along with that i also got this sd card holder because usually i just kind of toss it wherever it will go in my book bag i think it will be safe but it comes with these little um hold like flaps where you can put it in and it'll be secure which I like um, so I'll have this for when I am just like switching out my SD cards so yeah that's handy I think I saw that on a YouTube channel once um, I just got a small umbrella so I have like when I'm in the city I just use like my brother's golf umbrella that he doesn't like he had an extra but I just got this black one it's just a small one looks pretty heavy duty i think it was like 20 bucks so yeah it's not i don't think it's really supposed to rain anywhere while we're there but you can never be too sorry when it comes to rain um and then the next thing that i got i honestly should have gotten a long time ago but i got a anchor portable charger i think hannah has one of these i could be mistaken but um this one was highly ranked on Amazon. So I got this one. It is just the smaller version and I just got it in black, but it's just kind of this small charger and it has two USB ports and a another input, I guess like an HDMI input. Don't really know, but apparently you can charge your iPhone like three times with this, I believe. Um, there's a little thing that says accessories on it. Let's see what's in here. It wasn't an HDMI, it was to charge it. So this is the cord to charge it, and then this is the little mesh carrying pouch. So, yeah, that should be fun to have, and it's small enough where it'll fit in my crossbody that I'm bringing, so that is good. It's not too heavy either, which is also good. It looks kind of big for the mesh, no? So yeah, so it fits into this little mesh pocket. That's so cute. And I guess you just put the little charging cord. 
but yeah fun but yeah that's all the stuff that i got for traveling pretty much just like random knickknacks that i needed to get before heading out on my trip hello so it's a couple of hours later i just got into a twitter fight <laughs> um no that wasn't a joke it was real but anyway um i am about to go cook up my hello fresh meal so i like to make sure that i use all my groceries before i head out on a trip obviously you don't want things to go bad um and I got HelloFresh for the first time last week and I've been loving it. So I'm going to make my last meal for this week. And then I made sure to pause it so that it wouldn't come while I'm away. But yeah, let's go ahead and cook up some meals. Alright, so today we are making the Juicy Lucy Burger. Um, and it looks really good. It is just a burger and um, roasted potatoes. So that should be super tasty. I'm so hungry and this looks so good yep and there is the finished product yum yum let's see how it tastes hello friends so it is now tuesday june 18th and i am headed out to get my eyebrows done and my nails done i'm just gonna get a manicure and get my polish changed on my toes um, and I'm also gonna grab lunch while I'm out and probably coffee because I am who I am um, it's kind of nasty outside so I'm trying to be as quick as possible I'm gonna walk to the threading place before it starts raining because that's not ideal <laughs> all right let's head out Alright fam, so it's a lot of hours later and I've just been trying to organize all of my different packing situations so I'm just gonna update you on what I have so far. I'm also FaceTiming my mom so yeah, let's see what's what's happening. And then right now I'm kind of doing a overhaul on my carry-on stuff. So just some stuff that I make sure to bring with me in my carry-on. Obviously you, you want like your wallet your passport uh, I'm bringing a copy of my passport as well um, and then I just have like lotion a lint roller Tums Tylenol sunscreen so basically everything I got from CVS yesterday I also am bringing my Polaroid on this trip and I went and picked up some Polaroids for that I have my big camera my travel adapter and its case some more lotion my Juicy Couture perfume this is my portable charger, again, my um, SD card holder, a compact mirror, an umbrella, two uh, Apple chargers, my AirPods, and headphones. And then I also bring headphones with a normal jack so that I can use it on the plane. I have my Nikon battery, my Canon spare battery, a book. And then this is the carry-on that I'm using. It is a Marc Jacobs like quilted black bag. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. It's pretty dope. And then I just organize all of this stuff with tote bags. So I'm just gonna use this one from Honest Beauty. And then this one that I got with my Chi. I also have some feminine products in here that I bring to just, just in case. I try to be as prepared as possible. So yeah, so yeah oh and then i also have a dress which i'm gonna pair with underwear to and put in my carry-on as well um just in case there's bag issues hopefully fingers crossed there's not but can't hurt being prepared also a pin because i've read a lot of travel posts that say have a pin on you so yeah so uh, i'm currently just laying here on my floor <laughs> I got tired after packing up my bag um 
but yeah so i'm just kind of i just posted on instagram frankly and now i'm gonna go separate my clothes so i can do laundry in the morning just last minute around i'm kind of just i'm like ahead of schedule to be honest um yeah feeling good about it hopefully the weather <laughs> cooperates because it's <laughs> not looking good love that um but yeah i'll check in with y'all later i also got this fun like daily agenda pad from her conference um but i'm just using it to make my to-do list so i got everything i need to done this morning um i still have a lot to do tonight which is good but most importantly i need to watch tutor girls too but everything else is also important so i should probably do that as well yeah Good morning, friends. It is June 19th, AKA heading to Europe day. I'm so excited. So it's like 7.15 right now and I just went and did my last round of laundry because I like to have all of my clothes cleaned, my room clean, fresh, clean situation when I get back. Um, so I just took that downstairs um, and then I'll have to put it in the dryer in a little bit. But I wanted to show you my current packing situation because I tried to do it last night but I just I had done a practice pack so everything was in my suitcase but I wanted to show you like physically outside the suitcase like what I'm bringing and how I'm organizing it because I feel like that's why people watch these videos but I actually don't know. Let me show you these. So it's the first time I'm using packing cubes and I'm already obsessed with them. I feel so dumb for not trying them earlier. So I just bought a set of five. These are from the brand Cowpack. So they're from the same brand as my suitcase. And it comes with two small ones, a medium one, and then a large one. And the way that I've organized this is I've rolled everything up. But in here I have pajamas, sleepwear, like loungewear, underwear and stuff. Um, here's all my tops. I have like 10 or <laughs> 10 or 12 tops in here um, And then in here I have shorts. So there's like shorts and skirts. So there's like I would say Like eight or nine pairs of shorts in here and then um, I have my dresses and jumpsuits in here. So Yeah, that's the situation um, All of my clothes fit into these and then the fifth piece in case you were wondering is this little like tote bag i guess you could put like more underwear or bras in here but yeah um i have my bras here bathing suit my little nightcap um and then i like to pack with um little like pouches for my other stuff so this is my like toiletries bag and this is where i put my makeup I also put my brushes in here as well. I have my sunglass holder and then I'm bringing my straightener. And yeah, so that's the current situation. Um, these are the shoes that I'm bringing. Um, ideally, I ordered some more black shoes, but they didn't come in time. Um, so I'm just bringing these. It honestly is only for when I go to like dinner and what my outfits match otherwise I'll be in sneakers um, and I'm just bringing these flat straw sandals which I think are just super summery and cute and then these two kind of dressier shoes as well really mostly because I have the space to do it um, and then this is all gonna go in my carry-on which originally I said I was gonna put in this Marc Jacobs bag but it's just not big enough so I think I am going to bring so I think I am going to bring my North Face book bag. Um, I wasn't planning on it just because it is kind of bulky, but I want to make sure that I have a carry-on that can fit everything that I need because I have a lot of like camera equipment and just like random stuff. Um, and then I'm going to lay out my accessories on the bed again just to see what I'm bringing. Okay, so these are the accessories I'm bringing. I just have these two headbands. I just like them as like hair accessories since I don't really change up my actual hairstyle that much. Um, but both of these are from H&M and I have an animal print and black. 
I'm bringing this black belt just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but like if I want to belt a dress or something, I'll have it. Um, and then this necklace is from H&M. It's just like a dual, like shorter necklace, longer necklace situation. I'm bringing four pairs of earrings. Um, these two are from H&M. This is from Primark. These are from Francesca's, I think. And then I'm bringing this bandana to tie around my bags, put my hair, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, but my earrings I'm gonna put in this like tiny little bobble bar bag. I, I have more jewelry organizer stuff, I just don't know where it is at the moment. So I'm gonna try and find that too. But if I can't find it, then the rest of my accessories will just go into this Calpac thing here. But yeah. Cool. All right, so this is my current product situation. I don't like to bring a ton of product. And I don't even like to bring full size stuff, but I haven't been on a trip this long in a while and uh, I didn't pick up the travel size of these. So we're just gonna have to work with it. So I'm just bringing one face cleanser. It's a good everyday situation one from First Aid Beauty. Um, these radiance pads I use in the morning, um, just good for my skin also first aid beauty and then i have my everyday truth serum which is also first aid beauty and then this is my night cream it's from origins the high potency vitamins this is my favorite stuff that i use so bringing that and then i also forgot something else okay and i'm also bringing my olay henriksen invigorating night transformation gel it's just my night serum i like the way that makes my skin feel at night so i'm bringing that by no means you need to bring serums on a trip i don't think i think you can go a couple days without it but i have space so i'm bringing that with me and then we have my makeup situation so i just bring a couple of brushes to do my eyeshadow um then a face contour blush brush and then my brow comb and brush and my eyelash curler and i bring a mascara foundation concealer um, primer potion, a lipstick, uh, primer, a blush, face powder, a highlighter, um, and then two eyeshadow palettes, and then my contour palette. And the reason I'm bringing my naked palette is because I just like the eyeshadows in it best, and then this is my inner corner color. So, yeah. I feel like it's not a ton of makeup, so I don't really feel that bad about it. But, yeah, that's my skincare and makeup situation and then i also bring a beauty blender for my foundation and concealer so yeah fun times and then also my toiletries bag i just have my makeup remover wipes body wash deodorant and a full size toothpaste so i put my toothbrush and a small travel size toothpaste in my carry-on just in case something happens to my baggage or just is delayed or something so yeah i put the big one in my toiletry bag so yeah let's put that in all right so this is my final packing situation for my suitcase so in here i have my two small packing cubes on top of my medium sized packing cube and then my toiletry bag my bathing suit top and my makeup and a shower cap and a pair of shoes and then my other pair of chunky shoes bras underneath there's my calpac um case with my accessories in it my straightener uh another crossbody and then my large packing cube and that is the situation and then on this flap i have socks in here and then in these two i put my two sandals and that's everything that's in my suitcase cool okay and then this is my final carry-on bag situation so this is my electronics bag and i have a couple more things to add to it but basically i have like my laptop charger my polaroid film um, my adapter my tripod my fo a phone charger um, my portable charger my polaroid cameras in there um, and then this is just my on-the-go hygiene bag. So this, I have like these compression stockings um, because I was in an accident like a couple years ago. And so I get like above average swelling. So I put these on for flights, like long ones. 
Um, I have a face mask, a lint, my lint roller, and then all my other little goodies and gadgets in there. Some hand sanitizer. Um, this little pouch of feminine products, my blue light glasses, my DSLR and outfit and underwear, um, and then a book. So I'm reading The Sun is Also a Star right now. So that's what I'm going to bring with me. And then I'm packing it all into this North Face book bag. And yeah, good times, good times. And then I also have this toothbrush. <laughs> 